to chat with Daniel Datsy. Let me see if I can look at the screen. I don't know why. Okay, so chat with Daniel Datsy this Sunday. I'm so excited that, that you've made time to join. I'm very glad. I'm just blown away by my guests who are joining me this afternoon. I told you that it was going to be an all ladies affair and thanks be to God for the unspeakable joy for a bright sun and hey, um, and thank you to you for joining. If you are live, you should. If you are live now, which of course you are, you should be on my Facebook page. That is Daniel Kweku. Now, take a minute. What I want you to do is to take a minute and just share this video for me, okay? Just share it to all your friends. Copy the link. Send it to all the WhatsApp pages that you belong to. You know, um, what again? Yes, just share it. Make sure you're sharing it across and let everyone in your network get to know about the program this afternoon because we're going to be having some jolly good conversation. <laughs> it's getting better by the day. So mainly chat with Daniel Datsun for the few weeks, um, yeah, for the few couple of weeks. Is it a few weeks? For some few weeks now. Bear with me. For some few weeks now, 
Uh, what I have been doing is to um, bring along some of the most exciting and amazing um, new gospel musicians uh, who are in Ghana, of course, and most of them are independent, unsigned, but I tell you what, they are doing amazing, amazing, amazing stuff, okay? So, yeah, so I'm going to be having a chat with three of them today. They are going to be telling me about their journey, right? So we want to hear everything that they've got to say, mainly their story. To be excited to know about how they began this whole ministry, um, how they got into acting, singing, um, and uh, how they got into the studio, why they decided to record and put the music out, considering the fact that it can be daunting sometimes. Uh, most of the times, actually, it can really be daunting, you know, just trying to put your music out. You're not sure if people will like it or they won't like it. And sometimes those who even tell you, hey, you know, you sing well, your music is nice when you put it out. Um, said that. Okay. But hey, we, we're going to get into all those conversation and, and find out how far the Lord has brought them. So don't worry. You'll be seeing them very soon. You had a track that I played from Angeline. Now, I don't in her surname because... Um, I'm not too sure about the pronoun. When she comes on, I'm going to get her to do that <laughs> by herself. But, uh, I mean, many who love her call her Eva, so I, I'm sure I'll go with Eva uh, or Eve. Not the one in the Bible, though. This one is a different Eve. And I also have today Root, Root J, um, Root Music on all social media platforms. But, hey, the song you heard earlier on was, like, let me see, let me do a track from... Glitter. Oh. More glitter and even I'm more do glitter. A track from... Download and keep. Hey, uh, hey, Val. What, what do you need? They got you know consulting, what, way that strategic planning, so leadership right. development. What do you need? I got it right here. All right. So let's song from Roots. Let's play a song from Roots. She calls this one Oshida. And right after that, yeah, we would be. I'll be introducing my guest to you. So enjoy this one. Hey, I'm a girl who never lie. Yeah. 
Daniel Datsun. It's Sunday, and you know how we're doing it for um, a couple of Sundays now. My, my guests are ready. Oh, see? see? Don't worry. Um, that's what happens when you try to get songs played from YouTube. But hey, it's uncut, it's unedited, it's just for me. So, but let me say thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. Me get ready and go to my guests who are here already are you guys ready um yes. i've been having some comments throughout the i've been having some comments throughout the whole week that oh this week you are bringing us some very beautiful guests and i say oh every time don't worry every time i do well to bring you beautiful guests hello eva hello Hi. Hi, <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm, well. I'm, I'm not which one? Which one? I'm not. I'm not too sure. Of your phones is chewing some crepes in the background. <laughs> Somebody's phone is chewing some crepes in the background. So let's see if we can sort it out. <laughs> Right, but I'm um, I'm excited to have you ladies on this afternoon. How has the week been like? Let me start with you. Let me start with you, Eva. How has the week been like for you? So um, I resumed work. I was on a, a short break. I resumed work um, on Monday, and you know that uh, everybody's still trying to manage uh, COVID. And you know, is consequent issues. So work, work is a bit. It was a bit slow for me. Uh, so there was, it, it was pretty uneventful. I should tell you, nothing really happened <laughs> during the week, except today I had to go into church for three service. I just got back home. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's, that's good. So, um, church has resumed. Ruth, uh, has church resumed for you as well? Yes, yes. Yes, church has resumed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, how, how, how is it all coming together? Because um, I know there are restrictions in place, and yes. especially for musicians and those of you um, who have been um, singing both in church and also you know singing in event event how has it how is the return like for you are you concerned about um safety are you concerned 
to safeguard, you know, you as a as a singer. How how is it like for you, Ruth? Let me start with you. Okay. Um. By the grace of God, we resume service, and only that we have just one hour, and uh, um. Okay. So I just think that one hour thing in the Church of Pentecost isn't that really easy, but we just have to adjust because whatever is happening in the world now, everybody would have to adjust to it. And uh, when it comes to singing, it's a bit difficult because we have to mm. sing in the mass. That uh, those are directives from our from our chairman and then the executive board, and it's such that you just cannot go against that. You have to wear the mask and sing, and you know we right. use a lot of breath. You know when we are when we are ministering and all that, Ooh. it's very difficult. But we are managing. We are trying to see. Worry, worry. You know, <laughs> we could do our. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Eva, are you are you wearing are you wearing a mask to sing as well? Uh, yes. Um. So um, I did, I did three services today, and I think that in the second service, I it got unbearable. Forgive me, but I yanked my mask off, and uh, by the close of service, somebody has sent a message to my husband to warn me uh, not to take the protocol for granted. <laughs> It's a super <laughs> to sing. <laughs> oh my goodness! First of all, the backers need to hear you mm. very often, uh, and then you—you you are not really sure whether the congregation can even hear what you're saying. It gets pretty mm. frustrating, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Okay. So um, let me. I'm. I'm trying to stay with. I'm trying to stay with um, the challenges of the of the present situation a little bit because I know that it has impacted a lot of musicians, right? And for for you who have your music out there, and sometimes you do have to attend events and stuff. The way it has affected the way people have been responding to your music. Is there any difference? As, is there any difference post um, just COVID when, you know, everything was normal, uh, you know, restrictions and stuff? Uh, is, has, has the way people been affecting, uh, accepting your music been affected? Who, who go first? <laughs> okay, so all right, okay, go, go first. Ruth, Ruth does a lot more work than I do. So let, let me come and say something. And then she will come and tell you the real deal. So for me, honestly, I told you when you asked earlier, uh, you know, off camera, um, um, promotions, I told you that I haven't done the first. Um, however, I noticed mm. the, the, the lockdown, from from March coming down, in fact, now it's slowing down a bit. But I noticed that when people were locked up in their homes, uh, they had more time to stream music. Because when I went to the back end of iTunes, I saw that you know people were streaming a lot more. more. And then I was also mm -hmm. trying to see what preferences of music they were streaming more. Every now and then, I check the album and I see which one goes up and which one comes down. Now it's slowing down a bit. Uh, I don't know, but somehow I think that uh, COVID helped streaming. I, 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 I can't say for Ruth, so, but <laughs> that's what mm. I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Ruth, so Eva thinks that um, COVID, you know, uh, because it's keeping people home, it's helping streaming. What do, what do you think? Okay. Um... Uh, it's a two-way kind of thing, right? Okay, like Eva said, I, I do a lot of outing, you know, ministrations and all that I've used. It has cut down all, all those things. Now, it is virtual concerts. And um, you don't get to, you know, okay. relate with people. Gone are the days where you go to church when you're ministering, the Spirit of God takes takes over and then you get people and the whole auditorium the place is charged you feel the presence and those kind of thing you don't you don't experience it anymore what you do is it is just you and then imagining what is happening to people in your homes that kind of thing and 
um we're adjusting to the system oh, wow. <laughs> yeah you 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 are just uh, you know ministering with faith and then believing that the spirit of god himself is doing his own thing in the home in the houses of people but you are not seeing them that is one of it and then the other thing too hmm. it has done is that um it right. has given not only other people to stream but to help the gospel artists themselves to sit down analyze and access their lives whether they are really in line with god because you know other most of the times we are going out there ministering here and there going to people but we don't take that time and then you know relax it back and then reflect on our lives and see i believe that in a way COVID has helped us to do most of Mm. So it's like this is this is proper working by faith and not by sight. That's right. You know, it, it's it's proper working. It's proper working by faith and not by sight. You just have to do what you are doing and just believe that whatever response that people or whatever experience people are having in their home is commensurate with what you are giving out. Is that the case? Because I, I think it's the same for church services as well, not just like event gigs. So if you are if you are a worship leader and you are leading worship in church, you know, so you, you, you can only imagine that the people are responding and maybe singing along with you and all that kind of thing. Right. Anyway, um I'm I don't know, I'm having I'm some things are coming in and I think there's some feedback I I don't the feedback let's see if we can if we can check and sort it out right right let me let me let me now come to your uh you know mini how it started and i'm going to start if i'm going to start with you again so tell me how did this whole music journey thing start for you the lord um well <laughs> i said the story over and over again um the truth is uh but we 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 are we hold on hold on we are hearing it for the first time so tell us everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's fine so uh, basically i was born into a christian home uh i i, I grew up going to church you know because I'm a minister's daughter. So every day we're always okay. in church. We stayed longest in church. We got to play with the instruments after church, you know. So it's pretty much been my lifestyle to be hanging around, if you like, a, a lot of music. Um, uh, so growing up, um, even before, um, even before I made up my mind, honestly, I didn't think it sort of just happened. I was tagging along a lot of musicians. Um, so my youth choir, I was singing in my youth choir with one Kwame T who's now moved to Canada. Um, then after that, I went to uni. Um, in JSS, I belong to a, a, sing, a, a sort of singing band in JSS, in Martin de Porris and so on. Um, I went to AIS, I joined the school band. I came back home, I was in the youth choir. I joined the main choir. Um, I went to do my national service at Standard Chartered. I joined the choir there. Uh, and before that, I, I was new. UCC went through Gaffers and Echoes of Calvary, um, working closely with Zuta. You know that Zuta and I are, are more than uh, siblings, you know. Uh, so through Zuta, I, okay. I met yeah. Neokai. Yeah, so I met Neokai and then we sort of rounded back again in Coda Studio in Takwa where we're doing a lot of work. Uh, so pretty much I was kind of used to this business of singing and studio work. You know, I sang on, I think, two or three albums on campus released during campus time. Um, and then I, I come out of school and then I, I sort of follow me. I joined me's uh, BV team. So I was following him all over the place. You know, we're singing everywhere and then uh again i'll tell you ruth ruth um uh it was right after uni right when kofi uh martins and jima 
um, brought up this vision he had had, Empress. You know, we sat down, we said, hey, Empress. Should we say e Empress or Empress or whatever it was? Empress. <laughs> <laughs> we said evangelistic, we said all manner of things, and we came up with Empress. Yeah. So Kofi Chima, who um, had the vision of Empress, started with Ruth, right, myself, um, uh, Ruth, help me if I'm wrong, Eunice, Eunice, um, Eunice also sings in the Pentecost uh, church, yeah. Eunice also missed yeah. yeah. the Empress. Copy my yeah, name. Copy uh, my and Patrick. Yeah, and then it's uh, Esther, Jima, and Patrick. And Patrick, Patrick so and then Steve. Yeah. You know, we're just a group of about eight or ten. And at the time, <laughs> my God's grace, you know, we used to get some gigs and we go around and be singing, sort of, you know. And so, honestly, mm -hmm. I was hoping that I would write songs for my little sister to sing because. Later in the years, I was to discover that I mean, she was amazingly gifted, super anointed. She had become a whole oil type cat. And I couldn't wait to hear her sing my songs. Um, unfortunately, excuse me, sorry. Unfortunately, um, when I took her through my songs, she said, no, this is not her kind of songs. She doesn't sing these kind of things. So after a retreat in Hepzibah, uh, that's about three years ago, uh, again, convened by Neokai and the uh, uh, Christian Music Association of Ghana. I, I got home, I was packing when I, I, I heard the first line of Minya Christo, which is a track you, you played first, you know. Uh, so I got into the house. Right, okay, okay, okay. Mm. I tried to put it together. Wow. That, um, I went to the studio, and that's how, okay. me, that's how I got into the studio. Kind of an accident, right? Mm. Right. I would, I would, I, I know, I, but I'm going to come back to you, and we will talk about your studio experience and how that was different from what you have been used to as in tagging along, singing in choirs and all that, um, that those experiences. We will come to that. Let me say hello to Melody. Melody Frimpon has joined. Hello, Melody, welcome. Thank you, my brother. I really apologize to all of you for coming late. And greetings to my wonderful sisters out there. <laughs> That's fine. And as you can see, I'm in a car. <laughs> Uh, heading towards another place. I towards can see it's, a, it's been a busy day, hasn't it? Yes, yes, yes. But I tried my best to be with you guys. God bless you so much. Thank you. you Thank you very much for, for, for taking time out to come. I mean, so whilst I have... Whilst I have you, so let me quickly take an introduction from you. Um, I know, like I was telling you on WhatsApp the other time, that oh, I, I have seen Melody on social media, and I'm sure uh, a lot of people have heard you on radio and, and, and stuff. But for the audience who are new to this platform, you know, who, who say Melody Frimpones? Hello, do I still have Melody? Right, okay. Uh, it looks like I lost Melody totally there. Ruth, let me come to you. Hello. Um, I, I mean, I had I had a story from... Yeah, hello. Uh, do hello. I still have you? Uh, 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 uh. Hello? Right. Okay. okay. Hello, I Melody. Do I have you? Yes. Do I yes. have you? Yes. Yes. I can hear yes. you. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I, I'm so sorry. I missed the question, but um, what I what I heard was to introduce myself to the audience. Was that what you were trying to say? Yes. That. Thing. That was what I was saying. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for the question. Um, Melody Frampon 
is a young woman, a mother and a wife, who is uh, born again Christian, purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, and has discovered a mission <laughs> on earth as using music as an instrument to win souls for Christ. If you guys heard okay. me well. Yes, I did. We we heard we heard you and um Charlie, you are you are making me feel very evangelistic this is right about now. <laughs> uh, okay. Um I I hope we get our sound sorted out properly. But I'll come back to you, Melody, and 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 you know ask how you you get this whole music journey because that's okay. where I am now. But Ruth, let me come to you. Do you have do you have a same story? Um, hello, Ruth. Can you hear me? Hello, Ruth. Can you hear me, Ruth? Okay, me folks. I think um, because we are we are connected from different parts of the world, so just having a bit of challenge getting the internet sorted out. But um, Ruth, if you can hear me, if you can hear me. I was asking how you have yeah, a yeah, yeah. to if I shared how how did the journey begin for you as far as music is concerned? Okay, um, I'm also a PK anyway. Daddy is a reverend minister, and um, I remember the first time I sang oh, in church okay. was was when um, I went to church and everybody was going to sing. This person would come and say, "I want to sing one song," and I'm like, "I what? Is, what is this people doing?" Okay, let me give it a try. And I also went to start. I think I was like six, seven years, and I was like, "I want to sing a song." As soon as I started the song, I started crying. I'm like, ah. Then they just, you know, carried me out of the place. And that was the first experience I had afterwards. By the grace of God, everybody sings in the family. Uh, my elder brother started with Unibar Youth Choir. And then my, my sister actually did Shushi anymore. He okay. anymore. He anymore. day. Tell me who. My elder sister did that song. And then they all started from there. And at a point, um, I was in Ghana actually. So when I came to Ghana, cut a long story short, I after school during school session, I came to join Empress, like Eva said earlier. And then afterwards, um, I started working in the studios. Like I was doing BVs for people in the studios. As a matter of fact, I actually did melodies. BVs. <laughs> she didn't even know until. Uh, one day she called okay. uh, <laughs> and then he told her the lady who did your song is Ruth and she was surprised and then she sent me a message. The funny thing is that sometimes you do the songs and you don't even meet the people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't meet the people. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. And then the first time I entered the studio was uh, one morning when I was doing some general cleaning at, at school and then the lady who did so she called me and she was like, oh, she was okay somewhere. Yes. I'm like, okay. Yeah, so I went with her. Unknowingly, we we're going to the studio. So when you got there, and she was like, she wanted to do a part of the song. So I started singing with her. And then she did the lunch. Then I was, uh, the, the sound engineer who recorded the song realized that oh, I had this talent. And then he brought me. So after school, I began in the studios. And by the grace of God, I was able to work with Joe Metal for the first Praise Reloaded project he did. Mm. After which we did adoration with Eugene Zuta. Okay. And and we did um we worked with Pastor Edwin Datsin, Elliot Lamte, on and on and on and on and on. With the recordings in the studio to, you know, work with I mean, by the grace of God, most of the artists, I wouldn't want to mention their names, but the recent one is uh, Sanchele Yankopon with Anna Hamilton. I actually did a studio session and uh, okay. it's been a blessing. Yeah, it's been a blessing. And I believe that um, the other people out there would have done it even better than I can. But just by the grace of God, we are getting to where we are. And in 2014, 
uh, I released my first album, which was uh, Liquid Prayers. And it was lunch at a point you had to break okay. work, go to school and all that. And then I have a program I host every year, Liquid Prayers. It was after we released the, the album and we began to do that. And uh, last year we released the second album, which is the Mercy Seat. In between, we've released other songs, um, some singles, and what have you, and then work on a project to call Getting Intimate with God. They are songs we release every month, songs that get you charged up to pray. They are not worship songs. They are songs that get you charged up to pray. So basically, that okay. is how it has been, you know, that's how it's been. And we're mm. still working. We're still working. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm glad to hear that, but uh, I hope you can all hear me. So, because this particular one is very important to me. So, from what from the story that I've heard from, um, it looks like there's been one point or the other where the three of you kind of have been supporting each other's it's where you know you've done either done beauty for someone or you work together in a way in the same car or something like that now in, in recent times i have been hearing a lot of um of complex gospel musicians especially the um, new contemporary ones are not support that to put it to put it this way when it comes to the open market Gospel musicians are not supportive of each other. Do, do you ladies like share the same view? Um, Melody, let me start with you. Do, do you share the same view that gospel musicians don't support each other? Uh, before I uh, answer your question, I want to really appreciate uh, Ruth so much. I really, really, <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I, I, I appreciate Evangeline too. God really bless. Can you, no, can, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I think yeah. Evangeline, can you hear me? Can you hear me, please? Yeah, can you hear her? Yeah, I can, I can hear, hear, hear everybody. I'm, I'm sure it should be fine. You, you got... Yeah. Please go ahead. Okay, I, I want to say a big thank you to Ruth because I never knew she was behind me all this while. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew until just, I would say like a, three weeks ago, I believe, I found out that she has been behind my sons all this while. <laughs> God, Richard, bless you. Sir. And God Amen. bless you, Evangeline, too, for a good work that you are, you are also doing out there. Um, coming to your question. I think we are not supporting each other. It is true. From my experience, we're not supporting each other. What I've come to realize is that um, mm. we need to be in, in, in more of the spirit than to be in the flesh as believers and also as gospel music shares. We need to be more spiritual. Mm. The reason why I am saying this is I have come to realize that um, Satan is using a means that he is trying to always create enmity between musicians. Maybe I will explain it better in my, in my local language. Uh, yeah. Instead of say we will be happy for the person. Right. Not rather no or the or the any time eba eba in term rather. Now the question I always ask myself and I say. Uh, I don't know this person from Adam. I have no idea how uh, he or she got to the level where she is. However, when you say, when you start to 
those things are no physical things, even though when you be physical, but if you are in the spirit, I would I'm not saying you say yes, but I mean who said Satan brings those things to us as Christians. And if we don't pay particular attention to all those little little things that he brings our way, okay, we will we will never celebrate each other. We will never support each other. And look about me who say anytime is all over. I'm talking from experience from the people that I've come across. I'm not, I used to celebrate them, I love uh. them, I see that like, oh, they are this, they are that. Mm. Then Ube any panana who say, hey, say any brush and so how can you uh, <laughs> help a sister? Okay. Or help a brother. Not so we need to like if you envy that person. How can you do that? You can do you can you 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 definitely can support or even help. That's one point to be that I have come to realize. Also, no, when we we we, we Christians right. we sit down, we always we always talking about uh your friend is yes, we be we are saying. Yeah, what we are singing, I we are so for. Until you two be around, every song that we produce is still yeah, we are singing. But we have classified certain kind of songs that we are singing. I watch a lot of videos from our brothers and sisters who don't sing gospel music, yet sing Ghanaian music. You see them supporting each other. What we say? Every video that comes out, you would see another artist supporting the other artist. Why? Because when things happen, they let go, they move on to the next level in life. Ask yourself, say, yeah, Christians, you know, we know the right thing, we know the truth. Are we able to even exhibit that? Let alone support ourselves. I'm giving you a typical example. When I, I know, I don't know Ruth. To be honest, me personally, I have not seen her before. All I know, they say, uh, she was having a luncheon. Was I better be on the platform? She was on the platform, and all I know, I just fell in love with her. Everybody that I see on the platform, they are fall in love with the person. I don't. It doesn't matter because all I know, they say, we are, we are, we are joined with the Father. Inti. I, I decided, so, oh, if my sister is doing this thing, I want right. to support her in one way or the other. I want to, I wish I was around to even go to the luncheon and support her, be there, and dance for her to be happy. Because when I need it, I know that she will come. Just like the Bible says that, do unto others how you want it to be done to you. But here's the case that when you are a musician, and you are doing a program, you put a flyer out there, you expect your sister to be sharing it. You have a video, you will expect your sister to be sharing it. You have something that you, they don't do it because of this enviness that I see amongst us. There is so much enviness amongst us. And it's so, uh, uh, may, may, may I'll use the word demonic because it's, it's not a good spirit. It's not a good spirit. That is sweeping over the gospel industry you see if we can uh, get out of that kind of way now i think we can support each other but right now as i see it we're not supporting each other at all we're not mm. wow, that that is that <laughs> this submission is from a place of passion i can see that um, but let me come to uh, Eva and Ruth. Do you, do you ladies share the same sentence? And if so, what do you think can be done to make things? Let me start with you, Eva. L let, let me come to you. Uh, sorry, I'm the wrong person. I didn't hear a thing of what Eva ever said. Oh, oh. oh. I, I I'm oh, so yeah. sorry. Yes, I, I, I can't okay. hear. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That, Maybe if we right. can speak, I'll get an idea. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, no worry. Um, Ruth, let me come to you. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that um, 
let me let me let me speak from my point of view okay and then let me let me speak from what i believe in i go i still go to the studios to do bvs for gospel at Sorry, folks, bear, bear with us. I think uh, having a little bit of issues with uh, remote connection. So um, I hope, do I still have roots? Uh, I think I've, I've moved there somewhere along the line. But basically, I mean, basically, decided to um, ask because it, 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 it's, a, it's something that requires since the time I started having this conversation with. Um, you know, imagine new gospel artists. There is, there is some, there is this particular um, trend or this particular reason that on coming up. So oh, I have a uh, Hello. Let's keep the same sentiment that we so. do maybe today. But I'll come, I'll come, let me see, I'll come, I'll come to that in time. Let's see how we come to that. I hope Ruth, do I have you back? Yes. Do I have yes, Ruth back? Yes. yes, I think the network is giving us right. a little. Okay. Is it better now? Me. Can everybody hear me, please? Yes, I can, my dear. Okay. He's going to hear me now. <laughs> I can hear you, Ruthie. I can hear you. Great. Great. Yes, All I right. can. So I was saying All that. Okay. All right. I was saying that. Um, I want to tackle it from from where I stand. Okay, I still go to the studios to do BVs for people to work on projects because I believe that we are targeting one focus. Like our focus is one, which is Christ Jesus Himself. All right. So some of the songs I go to the studio before I even go to the studio to do them. I fast and then pray knowing that this song is is going to be heard by somebody who you know who is in need of it so i do it with all my heart with my spirit and my soul knowing that it is going to bless somebody out there irrespective of who of whose name is writing on it say uh, a song for uh, let's say a melody melody song i did in the studio for instance i have never met her anywhere before i haven't seen her anywhere before all right but I went on a song like, it's my own. The same way I'll do BVs for my song is the same way I do BVs for anybody else's song. Because I believe that it is targeted at one focus. But um, I don't know what is happening in the industry, though. But there's this thing that has even been on my heart where I realized this thing with the guys, with the ministers, um, say, um, I can say Kobe and then, you know, the men in gospel. I think they have this page where um, when, say, one person is releasing a song, they put the flyer on their page and then they all spread it on their, on their, their, their social media handles. It is something I realized about them. And it is something I've been praying about. I want to uh open a page where i would have everybody talk to them and that this is what we're doing for the women ministry in our own small way and i'm still praying about it actually i pray that the lord would help me through and then we we'll see how best we can sort it out well, and we should be able to hold it, each yes, other. So have... <laughs> <laughs> yes as a matter of fact the, the two of them are already part of it <laughs> automatically <laughs> <laughs> automatically they are part of it um it is good that we help each other um I, I i don't want to say maybe um somebody is not helping this or that because um i'm just focused on having the thing being out there you get it and i don't really look at whether this person is going to help me put post my flyer or help me share my song or not the most important thing is that when okay. I look at is let me get the bloggers, help me push this. I get it to the right source of people. Go super for me. Even outside the gospel industry kind of thing, we are human beings. You get it. We are human beings. And there's this funny ill feeling about, you know, hey, why are we saying it? 
I know we are queen, must be kind of thing. So, um, for me, okay. I am always focused on. I'm not thinking about who is going to help me push it or not. What I do is I get my team ready. I have a publicity team actually. I have a strong publicity team. Okay. Aside that, I have bloggers who do my blogging for me. I have one or two people where I'm releasing a song. Okay, this is the song I am dropping, and this. And then I have people who advise me on how to go about it. And unfortunately, she had who cost show up from their human beings, even outside the gospel industry kind of thing. So you definitely get people going like maybe me before the other person come, you get it. So just do your homework, right? Get people work for you. Get people like there are there are youth out there, there are people who love what you do. Put them together, get a page for them. Okay, this is what we are doing. Plan the get give them work to do. This is what we are doing today. This is what we are doing tomorrow. This is what we are doing. Today. And they will do the work for you. And so you will never move because all the time you get them doing something or the other. And now the funny thing is that some people will never want to push what you're doing. You get it. Automatically, there are people, you wouldn't get okay. everybody supporting what you're doing. It's a fact. So just you know. Do your homework. Get people who love what you do. There would be definitely people who wouldn't want to even hear you sing. So get people, focus on those who love what you're doing. Have the let them do the work for you. And then forget about the other people who go like, you know, we didn't even want to hear my sister singing. They wouldn't want to support me, get to the next level. When you keep listening to them, you wouldn't even stand on stage. I'm telling you for a fact. Because when I started, for instance, I had several people who would tell me that oh, they're, we're a BV, you're a BV singer. There's, you can't do a lead. Kind of thing. Today, the same really? people would tell you, I wish you leave us. I wish you do you leave the song for me because I've stayed focused. Hmm. I just get determined. Yeah, you have to be focused. Else, you hear a whole lot of things. And I knew where the man I had with Jibu, I had not, you know, those things, but just Marcelo. focus hey. exactly <laughs> focus on people who love what you do, and that is what I do, and it works for me. That is exactly what I do. I don't, right. the negatives will come, but I've closed my ears to the negativity, and I just held my head high, mm. aiming towards the mark of the high calling. I, I, I just don't want to break. That kind of thing until I get to what I want to do. So sweet, you just have to focus on hmm. those people. Else, if you're being is oh yeah, you won't be able to deliver because you'll be worried about these things. Right. Okay. 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 Uh, get a team of people that will help you deliver whatever mandate God has given to you. And, you know, not pay too much attention to the distractions. Eva, can you, he can you hear us clearly now? I hope you have a little bit of sense of where the conversation is going. Now, <laughs> now I, I know that maybe um, you may not have been actively in the commercial space you know so uh, but i don't know if you have also experienced um such when it comes to wait uh, bear with me sorry uh -huh, sorry eva you can go ahead now can you hear me so i was trying to say that and that is why i totally appreciate this you know when i when i i accepted the invitation to come and join this chat I, I had no idea that I was coming for free consultation and grooming from somebody <laughs> I totally <laughs> admire. <laughs> you know, Ruth knows it because I, I follow her yeah. and I'm sure if she knows, no, if, she, if she's been looking, she would know that I, I follow her. I know. I mean, I follow her everywhere. And I'm I'm just watching her. I watch her in awe because I think that she's so good at what she's doing, you know. And she, she's just shared the truth right there. She's she's very very focused. And the question I'm posing to myself right now is, how do I how do I garner this level of 
energy, you know, because for me, oh. it's, it's a bit of multitasking as well, because I, I have a couple of other things I, I have my hands very deep in that I'm doing, you know. And um, I, I thank you, Danny, you know, for this opportunity. <laughs> the things Ruth is talking about, Masa, those are the things I need, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Because yeah, opposition, wow, yeah. you know, when it comes to the opposition, I mean, people are such wet blankets. You will have no idea. I mean, mm. somebody literally called me one day and asked me a few questions. Basically, wow. all he was asking me is that, what do you think you are doing? And why do you think you should even be doing this? You know, the counter side of it is that. People you never envisaged will ever call you will now call you and be sharing and think more testimonies with you as a result of your obedience. Now, which voice do you listen to? Mm. I say listen to God because the conversation was between you and your God. You know what you heard, and, you know, right. and opposition will be here for life. So if you ever give it attention, I'm sorry, you will not be able to make any progress. And, and I, I tell you, Ruth, I think that she's phenomenal. I, I think that, oh, I'm sorry, you. Melody. I'm not, <laughs> I haven't that much. I, wow. You, you, I, 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 I think, you, you I, 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 I think I think I think you are you are all been amazing work. I mean, um, because I know I I mean that space. Uh, I've I've put some work out. Um, on the other side also, the radio presenter where I have to be listening to songs and and selecting it as part of my playlist and all that. And I know the challenges. And I, I work with you know some friends who are pushing this, and I know the challenges that goes into it. Now, Elodie, let me come to you because I know that you work with um, a record label. So tell me how how that contributed. You know how has that contributed to this issue of maybe no support and that kind of thing are you are you getting that support because you are signed on to a label that is taking the that is leading when it comes to the promo music and and all those kind of things tell me what what's your experience like you see like uh ruth ruth uh, said initially um it's quite intriguing when you are serving a church for years and years and years and then you don't get the support from anybody you you mm. you see i made mention earlier that the bible say do unto others as you want it to be done unto you and as christians i think we we are obliged to help okay. each other you know but unfortunately Unfortunately, I'll come to your question, but unfortunately, we don't support each other. You see, my sister Ruth over there, I, mm. uh, if, if she should tell you how many years that she's been doing this for musicians, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, so many <laughs> years. But ask her if she can be truthful to herself. I mean, the ones who know that she's the one who's been doing <clears throat> BBs for her for their work, <laughs> how many times do they appreciate her? We are human beings. We can't we can't be pretending mm. as if everything is okay. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't. You can't pretend as if like oh okay. Mm. Um, we need the support from our various churches, from our various, from our friends, our neighbors, because you know, um, we have been called to duty on this earth. One thing I have come to realize in this life is that. Uh, we came with a purpose on this life. Jesus came with a purpose. Okay. He stayed for 33 years and he was gone. The mission was to save souls and that's it. Once that was done, that's it. Each one of us on this platform, as we are talking right now, we don't even know how long we have to stay on this planet. So the mission that has been given to us as musicians is to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. 
If so, then who are the ones who are supposed to support our ministry? Isn't it the Christians? Aren't they the ones who are supposed to, to, to support us so we can propagate the gospel? Yet they are the same people right, of that stand against our ministry. But then they will come and say, Media me yam ye juma. Why na ye bonsa me juma? The scripture is saying that any uh, anything that we are doing to the glory of God, everything he said, he has called us unto good works. So anything that we are doing on this earth to please God, no, we are doing the work of God. And as gospel musicians. And our best producers and our best record labels are our churches. Ruth, am I lying? I agree yes, with you. Yeah. Yes. Exactly, but I'm not I saying that. I agree with you. Oh no, no, right. no! I'm not um, talking about what you're I, saying. I'm, not... I'm just drawing a point that he asked about the yeah. record label that if that is helping to push. Okay. But what our okay. sister said, she said it right. Because right now I'm coming to a point that you said it right. Because now the 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 initial producers and the initial promoters, which is the church, is not helping us. So where do we go? We go to bloggers. We go to mm. we go to uh, uh, music producers. They will help you promote your work. Okay. But the truth of the matter is, right. some of you, some of them don't have your interests at heart. What they have at heart is their money. Hmm? How they can use you to make their money. I'm not against my, my, my record label, but I'm just telling that's, you. That's, 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 and I really appreciate he supporting what I do and promoting what I do. But the fact is, our brothers and sisters, our churches need to help us more. Because uh, at some point, the, these uh, producers, they, they get tired. And financially, you cannot do it all. But if, let's say, the church... In gen the church body, mm -hmm. look at my dear sister. I, 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 I forgot the name. Okay, there it is. Evangeline, right? And then Ruth. Eva. 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 Okay, Eva. very easy for me. Eva. Let's say Eva, <coughs> wherever you fellowship, Ruth, wherever you fellowship, you have about uh, 50 branches of that same church. And each one of them is helping you put out a flyer. And can say, Vista? Now come from the world for the name face your soda. So right now, uh, okay, but let, let me chip, let me chip, let me chip this in, eh? let, let me chip this in before you continue. All right, the point I'm trying to establish is that um, there are people who, of course. It is good. You have the church supporting, you have other gospel artists supporting, you have other ministers supporting, but come to the fact that if they are not supporting, what would you do as an individual? Just do the work. When they are ready to push you, they would come and do it. When they see you up there, look, nobody in this world wants to associate themselves with the sailing team. They want to see you up there and then they will join you there. Then they would want to do selfies with you. They want to share, oh, can I do a song with you? That is how the word is, my dear. So do what yes, do your you're part. Right. Okay, do yours. Get your people, do your thing for you. Now you have CVEX, praise the Lord. CVEX is helping you out. Do yours, get your people work for you. Then the church, in, in my church, for instance, 
we don't have a record label kind of thing like the uh, Pastor Chris does it and what have you, okay? When they see you doing something, they support you. That is what they do. When they see you recorded a song, okay, I want to do a lunch in the church, mm. they support you. Until you introduce what you want to do, nobody will support you. So the point I'm trying to establish is that play your part. Because when you say you're waiting for somebody to come from to take your flyer and put you on your wall, my dear, you will delay. You wouldn't even push what you're supposed to. But Ruth, established. do you know? Do you know? Do you know? It's, it's an undisputable fact that the churches are supposed Ruthie. to support us and do what we are doing. Ruthie. Yes, my dear. Okay, hold on. Uh, Eva, I, yeah, Eva, you want to say something? Yeah, sorry. But Danny, I mean, can we can we miss three in English? Because then we are doing it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I want to say my name. Mix, 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 but mm -hmm. the, the real issue is that eh, I, I I get Ruth, I get where you're coming from, but I don't mm -hmm. totally agree because mm -hmm. I don't know if you've met one who knows software. I just say, just I would just want more brema. He would just jump and yeah. give you all the support exactly. he can get. He would go into mm -hmm. the congregation. He would talk about you. He would talk about everything you're doing and. He would get everybody to rally behind you. Haven't you met a man of God like that before? I have. Now let me contrast. Have you also met, met a man of God who doesn't and yet say just say and no me and no more cardian and yet not much He does like music and cut and the say. You see, I mean, I'm telling you, and I, I have a lot of friends who have had to walk away from their church. Because I cannot, a human not hear you know. In fact, one of the biggest things you need is people that actually believe in it and will rally behind you. So when you say domino, now especially baby, I would say let you say top power in Nancy. Any story I did, I was around the power for some of it. So on who ends away from who ends was here. I would share. I'm a boy. There's not too much you can do. There's not too much you can do. A bad to me. I'm telling you, a bad to me. And I've Super, heard a story. I've heard a story from Sinash and you know uh, uh, from Christ Embassy. I think they are doing fabulous. I mean, for me, they are the perfect example of what a church should be to their ministers. Auntie, mm. Pajama. Let let me let me say something. <laughs> let, let's ask ourselves a question. This question: When Jesus Christ came. And started preaching his messages. After that, you know, who were the people who were following him? So the Pharisees, for non the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and all those people, they did not support Jesus. So why do we expect people who are out of our churches to go and support us? And then the church, who is the church body, which is supposed to support us, they are not supporting us. So I completely agree with you. Mm. The church is supposed um, to, um, to start support us, push us to the level where, oh, okay, now, okay, now, but we have to struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle and then wait and and, and to a level where someone will come and tell you, say, just like uh, 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 Ruth was saying, uh, we are here back up and we what you. You see. That's what I was saying right, right from the beginning that if you truly, you are a true Christian and understand the word of God, you will not be saying those things to your brother or your sister. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let, let me let me come in um let me come in because this particular this particular issue from the from the conversations i've had in the past weeks anytime 
I ask about the challenges that ministers are facing, especially up and coming one. It's consistently the issue of the church not supporting has surfaced. And I mean, I, I still don't know how we can, we can get our head around it, but maybe unless um, God himself uh, makes a way where there seems to be no way. But let's move, let's, <laughs> let's move away from, from that a little bit. And let me, let me try and dwell on your, your individual um, um, work that you have done. Uh, Eva, let me start with you. So you, I've, I've heard your songs and I must confess that they are they are very different from the trend that most people are used to what is True. it that inspired that 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 about it maybe it's just my nature sorry i can't say it was just was it I, I can just say it's my nature I, I, I find that I'm a bit different okay. <clears throat> almost everything that I belong to. I, I tend to do the other thing that nobody else is doing. So I love I love rhythm a lot. I love different cultures. I, so that's how I came to love soul. I came to love dance and blues. Um, it's the kind of music basically that I'm more accustomed to what I hear in my head. You know, I love drumming. I, I love to drum, and I think I should have been a very good drummer if I had focused. But like it was saying, I didn't focus. And but did, so did you to, used, did you did you used to drum? No, I was drumming in the. Did you used to drum? This is much and go and drum, and I used to drum the conga for our children's set when I was growing up. So I I, I like drumming. Oh. I mean, when I walked into the studio, and I was telling them about me, I. I the song for them to get what I was talking about. Then by the time I was done, they were saying that's the way they asked okay. Fela and Abita. And I'm like, it's not Fela, this is me. I'm telling you, who this is. <laughs> you know. So basically, yeah, I, I am a bit different. I, I love soul, I love blues, I love jazz, and yes, I love Afrobeats. Mm. So it's different, and it's it's it's, it's in fact okay. it's, it's okay. difficult that's, to tell that's, in mm. music. But when you do different music, you have to go the trouble. You know. Right. <sighs> mm. that, it, it shouldn't have been so anyway. But but like you said, if friend means you you have double the trouble because when um it is something or a sort of rhythm that people are accustomed to is very easy for them to jump onto it let me quickly take some some questions and contribution i i have and let me say a very thank you to all of you who are watching us and play the screen um a track with charles yes i've had your feedback here you you mentioned that there's some feedback from the sound we're trying to work on that Christas, Christabel Boahin, Songbird. You said, God bless you, Sister Ruti. Yeah. Okay. Bismarck Teria, you said that uh, you have, uh, there are, the artists are great all together. So great artists all together. Thank you very much. Um, Stephanie Sowa, you have sent a lot of messages and we are we are very thank, thankful to you. You, you, are, you are saying that um, truth told Minister Ruth. And Christabel, you said God bless you. God bless you too. No, I think I have a question. Ev Evangelist John Senna. <laughs> Evangelist says that he's missed. He has missed Ruth. So Ruth, please contact Evangelist John Senna too. after the I miss after, you too. after our show, <laughs> our show. <laughs> I miss you too, bro. Right, so, um, and as and she and Komia Wilson is saying that this is a nice topic, but uh, you want to ask if the communication is getting to the appropriate people. Hmm. Um, well, don't worry. I will ask my I will ask my sisters if they have channeled this um, this uh, what do you call it uh, frustration or as it were the link to 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 the appropriate quarters. And Cletus, you are saying that we should just we should just enumerate the help that we need and talk and talk much stress on them point by point. All right, I don't really get the crux of your point, but if you can elaborate, that would be great. So. Um, Ernest is asking if what we are saying, do we think that 
we are we've communicated to the right people or we we are we've been speaking to the right people as far as musicians who are not being supported by the church is concerned what what what, what um melody <laughs> yeah <laughs> come again please what was the question again yeah yeah so the question the question is that it says that he wants to ask if the communication is getting to the right people do, do are, are we talking to the right people maybe um the pastors who are supposed to give us that support the church leaders are we talking to <laughs> That's an interesting question. Do you think there's a communication gap? <laughs> that, yeah. That's an interesting question. Do you think there's question. a communication gap? Someone saw me in my church. He was no pastor. And said, oh, my sister, um, I think you should start recording. Whilst pastors were there. So the pastors need you all the time. Mm. They'll call you to come and sing. So I don't know which kind of form of communication that we have to do again to draw attention that we are also being called into the sheepfold to deliver the same message of Jesus Christ unto men <clears throat> to come to know him. So I really don't even know what to tell you, my brother. But the truth is the church sees what we do. Do we have to introduce ourselves? to them that hello my name is melody from <laughs> mm. i am a singer <laughs> i sing every <laughs> please i want to go to the studio to go and record it <laughs> i don't think we have to do that i'm quite interested just bear with me but okay. what i'm going to say is that's that's fine we we, mm. we we don't we don't really need to introduce ourselves in that way for for people to come and help us it's obvious okay. that we need the help mm. you know okay. it's obvious like okay. Uh, okay. the first okay. time the first okay. time i did my album okay i'm sorry when i did my first album i was traveling from one state to another state very long journey every time just to put an album together when i was trying to even launch the album and i remember that when i was trying to get even the date to launch the album it was a huge problem and this same lady that i've been singing for the church for many 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 years okay so i don't need to announce it to everybody that i need help oh, i need help oh, root i need help oh, Ruth gave me a flyer. She sent me a flyer. And automatically, when I saw the flyer, I saw that she needed exactly. my attention. What else do I, exactly. what does she have to come and call me and say, oh, um, because I understand the word of God that we need to support each other. So all I did was, oh, my sister, right. I can come and support you if I, if I, I mean, I will try and support you. Simple. Do I have to go and broadcast all this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saved Thank the rest. <laughs> For all of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ruth, Ruth, let me come, let me come to you, right? Let me come to you. Tell me, share with me your experience. I mean, you've you've about how you um true as a pastor's child and you know how you started. With your recording now how did um the actual production start for you was it was it because that you have been around music and the gift was there so you decided to go into the studio and record considering the fact that it's quite daunting to put your or it's quite daunting to put your music out there what actually moved you to to record Right. 
Tennessee. Hello, Ruth, did you hear? Oh, I think I've lost Ruth there in a bit. Um, I've, yes. I, okay, Melody, let me come to you. I mean, you've shared, um, yeah, so you, you, you've you mentioned how your first album came about. So the current single that you are promoting, is it just a single or it's a, it's a, a single out of a full album? What, what is it? Um, it's a single, but I'm compiling the album all together in the process. Mm. Okay. So presently, um, things have changed when, when it comes to how music is distributed, consumed. So mm -hmm. let me ask you, ladies, uh, before I'll go back to Ruth and, and, and Arthur, um, for you, Melody, let me start with you. How has the change affected um your your mini in the in the time past it used to be cds and all that kind of thing but now it is digital distribution how is it impacting and um, how is it impacting on your ministry and how are you you know coping with the whole new system i would say um negative and positive at the same time uh negative okay. in the sense yeah in the sense that right now um some of us we still have those cds stuck under our bed <laughs> we have a lot of cds under our bed that we still have to sell <laughs> and wow. we are not able to sell them because of the fact that most i would say like we're going like 60 to 70 percent digital now now the second thing in a negative mm. way is that if your song it's not highly promoted to the level where your community is going to accept it or wherever you are people get to know who you are they can purchase your songs they can download them now let's take our Ghanaian community as a as a whole. It's not like people don't know that okay. we've gone digital. A lot of people are aware that the songs are on the digital platforms where they can purchase. However, you'll be there and someone will call you. Oh my sister, can you send me can you send me the audio? Please send me for free. <laughs> So it's impacting me. I can't. I can't make no money from the seat from 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 the um, from the digital platforms either. People want to go on the on the platforms where they can download it for free. In our community, we don't want to support things of such nature. So everything must be free, 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 and free. So when things are free, free like that, mm. it affects us as musicians. Because when we go to the studio, we need to pay for it. Before you can even upload it digitally, you still have to pay for it. So the negative part is, is what I'm telling you. My CDs are stuck now. Mm. Due to COVID-19, right now you can't even go to churches whereby you can even people will be patronizing with the CDs and all of that. So I have a lot of copies of uh, CDs in my room. And when it comes to the wow. digital markets wow. right now, because the songs are not to the level where people know your name so much, they're so familiar with you that they can download it. Nope, the songs are still there. They're not being downloaded. Benwana. Once a week, someone play one. Mm -hmm. Once in two weeks, someone will play one. Go and okay. check. Yeah. And your sales, your sales for a whole week is probably two dollars. <laughs> so that's a negative wow. impact okay. financially. Um, financially, it's, it's negative. And also okay. for our, our okay. older okay. our older audience too. For the older audience, they can't also some of them are not that um social media kind of thing and digital thing kind of thing so they love the song but they can't download it what if they don't even have uh, grandkids who are used to those right. things 
then they can get the song. So it's really challenging when it comes to the digital. But I'm, I, I am, um, I am praying, and I strongly believe that as time goes on, people will come to accept it that this is how the trend is going, so that uh, whatever we have sown, right. that, by trends. God's grace, yes, we will reap what we have sown. Amen. That, that's the truth. We'll pray alongside that area. Ruth, if you can hear me, um, yeah, I, I, I was asking, you know, yes, I, I was asking just before you went off, uh, moved you to... to to turn, you know, was it because you had been around music or, you know, you felt that you have songs that needs to come out and that was why you needed to spend money to record? What actually moved you to to, to take that step? Okay, um, I believe that um, aside preaching the word of God, like our pastors, our reverend, our popes, uh, our bishops does, music have a very beautiful way of getting your message across like in every part of the world i know there are countries where preaching has even been banned a pastor is not supposed to go and stand outside mm. and preach. but musics are allowed you get it so if you want to preach the word of god you can still preach the word of god through music to people out there and the fact that um, i realized that i have a task i have that gift in me and then i can develop it and then use it to propagate the gospel. And so that basically, that okay. was what um, GNE up to, to do that. And as a matter of fact, I went through the service kind of kind of process. I, I, I served aside the fact that um, I, I was doing songs in the studios and what have you. Um, I served Joe Metal, Pastor Datin, Agent Zuta, you know, I went through that process. Join Empress Incorporated at a point, and um, and you know, it just built up like that. So I believe that music have a way of communicating to people. So when I, if I should trans, like change, like put my words in a melody, and anything probably God wants to tell His people, I believe that it would go further even than preaching. So that was why I I had to carry okay. out that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so are you are you are you raising that uh, vision? Are you realizing it? Uh, are you seeing it materialized? Exactly, I have realized it, and that is why I don't look left or right. I'm my, I'm just heading towards the mark. Like I, I don't get distracted of with any other thing. And I just bless God for that that strength and you know power to keep pushing. Else. The least thing somebody says about you might even put you off, and you wouldn't even be able to push. So mm. I believe mm. that I need to meet a certain mm. mark. So I am headed towards that until I get there. There's there's no turning back. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, we, let's let's uh, we are mindful of you know not keeping you for too long because we spent quite a, a bit of time. Yes. Let's try and round up. I wish I could have Evangeline back um, before we yeah. now melody. Let me come to you. Uh, let's look at the, the future. So, I mean, th there are so many challenges which we've spent time to speak about, especially um, help not coming from uh, uh, where it's supposed to come from and all the challenges. But looking forward, what, what do you think we can do to progress? And personally, you as well, what is the future we expect from your camp? Okay. Um... From my personal experience, what I think uh, I can do and all of us can do is we haven't taken uh, the social media seriously, unlike the other musicians who have done that. So I think gospel musicians should okay. also try and put more attention on the social media now, because th that's what is helping um, mm. most of our other musicians get to that level where they're supposed to be. And mm. also, okay. we okay. should stay focused. We should stay focused. See, there's a time to be born 
and the time to die. In between the time to be born and the time to die is your purpose and your vision. So once you have come to know what you have been called to do, which is gospel music and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ through music, you should stay focused. The lifter of your head will eventually take his own work to the level where he wants it to be. Just stay focused. Wow. 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 That that that's great. Um let's root same question for you. Um look ahead personally for you as well and collectively as 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 ministers, what do you think we should do? Okay. Um I believe that for for some weeks now, um attention has been shifted to the gospel music uh, industry okay and there are lots of issues okay. that are that that has been tackled now gone are the days where you wouldn't hear anybody talk about it that much but now for whatever reason there's there's this conversation all the time entertainment review here and there talking about gospel music recently and we are praying that it would all end up uh i don't know which of the words i should use it would end up for good for all of us most of the issues we are talking about, like, you know, I believe that more they talk about right. it, um, pastors and churches' attention will be shifted to the fact that they could, of course, introduce a record label for the churches and then help the upcoming artists that are also helping the churches. And I, we are just praying that the Lord would help them, you know, shift their attention to that side, you know, then because they're by Obama, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it will help all of us. And then we didn't have to do too no much work. No right. Yes, it wouldn't have to do too much work. So mm. so for us, I pray, like my sister said, the word is stay focused. Don't be intimidated by anything. And you may be aware, yeah, there are obstacles, there are issues. But when you are focused and you are you are you are headed towards a mark, you you you, you are not you know perturbed by any other thing, you know, that, that pushes you. So there are times you will fall down, but when you fall, don't stay there, you have to rise and then keep pushing and keep going and it'll work out we are working on getting into with god um season seven for july and it will be out very soon and we're also working on doing a facebook live kind of thing with mm. all now as you see we are global you know we are internet we are a virtual so we are working on that <laughs> <Right>. hopefully <laughs> okay hopefully second week in august we'll be having an interaction with people all over the world and then we have a worship service and praise. So keep praying for us. When you see any of us down, keep praying. Do not, I mean, chastise the person. Do not, you know, sit home and point fingers. The person is a human being. Whether you like it or yes, not not. The person still remains a human being. So the ever tone, the no ever tone. Right. So you pray for them. Mm. Yes, pray for us. Because where we stand is a very delicate mm. place. So when you see the person for, I beg you, pray for us so that we keep pushing the gospel. Because it has to get there. So God bless you too for listening to us. This mm. <laughs> Wait, I, I'll have something for you before you go. But um, let me quickly okay. uh, uh, let me quickly ask this. I was I'm, I was interested. The name of your um the name the name of your um your, your recording what what what's the name again the, the not the album but the name of the event that you you introduce i was interested in how why you chose that name yes is it liquid prayer Ruthie. yeah hello roots do i Oh, I think I've, I've lost you. Fortunately, Iba, let me let me come to you. Let, let me come. <laughs> I've I've lost you. Let me come to you. Um, so let's look ahead for for you. What what is what are the next steps now? I know you have a contract out. Looking to see uh, an album from you very soon, or an what, what event. Is, you know uh, what are you up yeah, to? What are, what should we expect? It's been two years, right? Since oh, Ruthie, are you back? Would you like to take your question? Yes, I'm here. Before I go on? All right, let me have a question again, please. 
Yeah, I, I was asking why you you chose the name of your event. Why, why did you choose that title for it? <laughs> Liquid prayers. Okay, it was a personal um, yes. experience I I have with God. Anytime I want, I'm going through something. Okay, um, when I was in school, for instance, I'm the type like I don't discuss my you know my issues with people because. Um, I don't know okay. who I'm talking to, all right? And then diluting issues to it is with a human being. So I don't talk much when I'm going through issues. What I do is I go into my closet, pick a chair, put it down, and tell God, please, Jesus, come and sit down. I want to have an interaction with you. And then I do that all the time. And then sometimes during prayer, I realize that some the things I want to tell him. I don't have, I don't get the words to tell him. Like my words cannot convey what I want to tell him. Then it okay. turns to tears. All right. And then through the tears, I believe that he hears me. So the tears there is the liquid. And then the prayers is where, I mean, that, you oh. know, mood praying to God. So that was where the liquid prayers came, came, came from. And then anytime I call on him in the hmm. closet, okay. <laughs> yes, anytime he, he comes in and he listens to me. So basically, that's that I was like my that. first liquid prayer. Yeah. That that's a revelation. So, folks, anytime you you wow. anytime you see or hear liquid prayers or you see the prayers on social media, then you know that is rooted for you. <laughs> you need to support. Iba, let me you. come to you yeah. now. So. Uh, yeah, you are telling you, you are telling me about what what we should be looking forward to. Yes, so um, uh, I'm going to start working on a new project uh, later this year. It will start with the release of a couple of singles, um, and then this Christmas I want to uh, package my own definition of Christmas for the world, as Ruth rightly puts it. No more Ghanaians or anybody around us, but for the world. So, you know, right? <laughs> currently, that, okay. is, that, is what, that is what I'm working on. I'm, I'm leaving God to release a couple of music videos before the singles, and then after that, we'll have Christmas with uh, Asempa. So, look out for that and pray with us, please. Just Christ, Christmas with Asempa. You know, I want to show you that you and sometimes mm. out of fact, the, the deepest trials and the most uncomfortable temptations bring some of the best songs, you know, and 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 you need to pray for us. Sometimes it comes from hell, but it birds something that is gonna send people to heaven. Into Munkai and Pai Boom, you know, and, and yeah, that's basically it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. My my last but one my last but one question. I mean, um, in in oh, in you in the two of you summing up, you've mentioned um, the fact that people should pray, considering that you are all human. So let me ask you: you are all. What is the most common temptation that the ladies who are in music ministry face? Mm -hmm. What is the most common one? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ah, all of you are laughing. Is a <laughs> so There's nothing like temptation. common temptation. <laughs> no, so right. I, what, I, want, I, want, I want. I no, no. I want the. I want the one that. Wait, 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 <laughs> lady, wait. I want the one that is peculiar and common to the ladies. So, it is the music ministry. The one, which one is peculiar and common to all of? Them? I mean, you have. I know you are friends. Well, you all. So you all know. So tell me, it, it's only me and you. <laughs> There's nothing common. You to see, you are trying. You are trying to scriptualize it. You know what? No, no, no. <laughs> we go by the day, so the temptation comes by the day. So we don't. You don't even have a specific <laughs> one. I mean, I'm. I'm talking from my own point of view because every day wow. comes with its own challenge. Right. So I can't specify. Okay. But like. Hey, today is the same temptation that keeps coming over and over. I mean, every day is different. Mm. It comes mm. as the day goes by. Mm. Because I mean, I, I if I if I if I push this a little further, I've I've had I've had stories whereby for ministers and especially you know gospel ministers who are ladies, sometimes 
before um, people would either support your music or give you a platform or do something that will pass it where support what you are doing sometimes they want some favors in return I, I don't know if it is a common thing that happens to most of the ladies <laughs> who are in music ministry mm -hmm. that, that, that is common <laughs> i mean it's not only in music Bro, it's is it common oh. yes it is very very common oh, yeah. my goodness daniel how are you as a lady I was just and then you know, you because you are <laughs> Danny, are you listening? I was just me? thinking that because you are okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> also, because I'm what? Also, because I'm what? I was just thinking that because <laughs> I didn't you know, get it. Because maybe you are you, okay, so I was saying that because you are Christians, maybe you know people won't go that line. So I was no, just so thinking about. that maybe I, oh when you're a Christian, okay. why would you wanna hey, uh, bruh. <laughs> talking about the patro it's all baby yeah i'm asking I'm, i was just trying to ask you a simple question it's everywhere how can an average christian woman keep up right okay keep up with um looking one because are looking good okay mm. being fit all right doing your regular checkups your health mm. checkups checking your hair checking your skin okay one time shame because people will mm. get tired of it if you want me say blue mommy now no be at wedding to Lisa Debbie. Send your bed than it than you know. And then going to play right. and say, be a yesika. Okay. And say, say, I'm telling you, the some of most of the time, the people who are richest, who can support you, you know. I dear all you know, won't see me here any more farm man. You won't come back and come and sing. Mm -hmm. Danny hmm. Pat Meanwhile, these people are not stopping, they don't stop. they see you anyway. You know, you get people sending you private messages, inbox, you know. If you hear the kind of things that people ask of you, and raising money for uh, events, it's not a small thing. I don't know about my other sisters, but I have. I went into an office mm -hmm. one day and broke down in the lobby. I broke down in the lobby area just crying. Because I couldn't believe me. I could you know what has brought you here? Our mm. babets now do on Saturn say it. Ejiska, what did you do? And I just broke down. And I just, yeah. That day, a brother in the Lord who encourages me a lot, um, Kakraba, uh, of Rebirth Studios, and of friend, I was telling him just what yeah. I think you say. Charlie, yeah. I'm always broke because he sika mu ya dini now be ko e yi papa bi o tin the office. You know, I'm telling you, Danny. Everything that is common to man on the face of the earth is common to the music uh, minister, especially the woman. Exactly. I'm telling you, I don't know about others. I'm telling you. Mm. Mm. That's true. It's no news. Mm. It's, true. it's no news. Okay. Mm. Melody, is it news or is it no news? It's no news. <laughs> my dear I, I, listen daddy no matter where you go as a christian temptation trials those are inevitable <laughs> they're inevitable right. so whether we we turn it upside or we do it whatever way we turn it we can avoid it however we can stay focused Satan purpose. That's yes. that's one. Satan always purpose. He purpose to come and try gospel musician, the women especially. And someone mm -hmm. will come Listen to this carefully. Mm. They're very much aware. However. They realize that you need that little help to push your music. Oh, you need it desperately. They will come and tell you all kinds of and be sending you unholy messages. Hmm? <laughs> but as a Christian, hey, I, I need to tell you the truth as it is. Me, I don't know how to oh, do it. <laughs> messages. Me, unholy messages. And all kinds of things. But Yet, you still have to deal with it. 
and then maneuver your way through mm. yeah, as okay. a Christian. Mm. And, and then stay focused. Mm. Because guess what? Mm. At the end of the day, there will be the same Thank you. people Thank you. who will come back and say, say, oh, me pays me see, me pays me see black, 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 and all that about you so we are very careful we know all the temptations out there my brother danny we can't tell you <laughs> they try it's a lot even though they haven't actually to. <laughs> one million of them yeah, right yeah. we have accepted <laughs> that whatever try that right, we, go right. through, we will still come out and by the grace of God, we will survive and push the gospel of Jesus Christ, no matter how Satan comes. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Um, amen. Amen. I mean, it, it's it's been it's been phenomenal. I, I'm I'm so excited that um you joined me to have this chat uh, today and um uh, I'm very grateful for your thing. It's been quite, quite good. Uh, the last question that I ask anyone who joined me um, on, on the chat is for them to tell me one thing that nobody knew. So um, I'm going to start just in one sentence. Tell me one thing that nobody nobody knows about that you want us, you want us to know today. So I'm going, if I, if I'm going to start with you. And then I'll come to <laughs> Melody and I'll come to you. So tell me. Are you starting with me? Yes. Yes, wow. please. I'm starting with you. <laughs> you. You want to buy a secret from me? <laughs> oh. I mean, you, you've rephrased it. I, I, I didn't say that, but if you say it, they will say it that way. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I don't think mine is a secret. I, I my One of my major ministries is encouragement, and I do a lot of counseling, and I also love photography, if it helps. Uh, okay. Wow. That's good. That's great. That's great. Melody, let, let me come to one, one thing that we don't know about you that you want us to know. One thing I want to tell the public to know is I am an evangelist, which a lot of people don't know Okay. about me. Yeah. I'm an evangelist. And wow. um, okay. it, it's a hidden, it's hidden, but I know with time, with time, it will pop up like popcorn. Pow! In Jesus name. <laughs> In Jesus name. Great, great. Root. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know crap. I do. I do a lot of things actually. Not only the music thing. Um, aside the music, we do printing, we mm -hmm. do um, like duplications, we do the like, t shirts, printing, embroideries, whatever you and all that. We do those things to other background. And another nice. thing people don't know about me is that I am very free, I'm the very free type. Only that if I don't know you, I don't know you. Uh -huh. When I don't know you, okay, you, you, you know, it takes a little time you get to know somebody before. You are you open up to the, to the person, so I I get a lot of like oh me waha I couldn't get close to you because we are very free people, and when you get close to us you get to know say we are we are very down to earth okay into when you see us don't shy away I better come around when you see us and and, and shy away oh we are human as you are yeah so when you see us please <laughs> don't run away <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> Let me let me say Come one more thing, us, please. Right. <laughs> Our fellow listeners and watch those who are watching us, please. We are normal people. We eat everything just like all of you. <laughs> we don't have special food. 
Um, Me for one. I love Kokote <laughs> and Pepe. Please. I'm begging all of you. Hey, that is powerful. The only difference, the only that difference is, is that the only the only difference is that Mr. Danny, we are your chief servants. Okay. We are the yes, servants. Absolutely. Right. Just that we are your chief servants. All right. Yes, we are just directing yes, yes. you to. But we are very, very down to us. All right. Yes. So don't shy We are repeating it because a lot of people who, who send me messages. Oh, you wanna want to, to but yes, Slamo. Your phone part when you see us, go yeah, and come. Sure. <laughs> uh, we need you to do the work, right. so <laughs> right. 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 sometimes we too we want to hug you. Oh. We too, we want we admire Thank you, you so much. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. It's true, but it's social distance yes, you in the era of corona. We'll, we'll give you shoulder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ladies, thank you very, very much. And, and let me put it out. All of you have your work on social media. All of you. you are watching now, one yeah. thing I would like you to do for me, please head to their, head to their YouTube channel and subscribe. Okay? Please subscribe yeah, yeah. to their YouTube channel. Share with your friends. Make sure that we are them melody has a new single that she's been promoting for a while now i i know you've heard her on the radio and wherever you hear her try and you know phone in encourage her group is also on she has a project coming up she, the songs are on youtube eva has a song when you just search for their names the <laughs> when streamable and then um melody too has <laughs> Brian. um uh, eva, eva too has um me uh, here, Christo, and and the rest of the tracks. So please, let's all support them, and let's all see, let's all see our sisters to be the big stars that we all want them to be. Uh, you know, just propagating the gospel across the world. And uh, I would like to say a very big thank you one more time for for sharing. Um, and all those who watch those who sent messages, Reverend Faith Miley, I can see you. Thank you very much. For, for joining us this afternoon. So, ladies, thank you. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Um, I'm going to play out with Melody's track, Guayen. And, and that will Please, be Brother done. Danny. So, have, Brother a lovely, Danny. have a lovely Sunday. Bra Brother Danny, one more thing to say, please. I'm yes, sorry please. to cut you off. Uh, the GMA going on in USA. No problem. Ghana Music Awards USA. Please, I'm, I want to encourage everyone who is watching us right now. Please go and vote. I was nominated for um, US, uh, okay. US based gospel song of the year and US based artist of the year. Please go and vote. Right. So you have, please sure you are voting um, for, for Melody. Where can they find the link, Melody, to vote? Right on uh, Facebook, the GMA page, Ghana Music Awards USA. All right. Okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you, ladies. Right. Okay, thank you very much, ladies, and you have a blessed Sunday. Okay, good, 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 good. Right. Um, hello. Yes. So let me say thank you very much, folks, for joining me on um, today's edition of Chat with Daniel Dutton. Uh, actually, God winning next week, uh, I'm going to be having the bloggers. So the Christian bloggers are, are going to join me. I have three of them amazing, amazing guys who are doing some great stuff. They will be will be joining me for us to for us to um, have a conversation about about Christian blogging and what they've been up to and how, what makes their work unique and how they are navigating the world of blogging considering the fact that it's something completely new we'll try and demystify all the mysteries surrounding blogging so make a date this week and don't forget that this conversation will be up on my um channel um youtube channel that is hack tv it will be up on it will be up on hack tv on youtube um when it comes up 
subscribe so that you receive the notification to share let's watch again let's listen to the conversation and send us messages as well if you have anyone that you want to appear on chat with daniel that same please kindly go on um my facebook page and send me a message and yeah we'll, we'll try and have as many people as possible on to have the conversation so god richly bless you thank you very very much <laughs>